What is going on travelers? Last time I showed you how to get a pirate freighter, but I've seen your comments on the matter and did a little testing and well, I was wrong. Here's how you get not only a pirate freighter, but to farm them efficiently for units and nanites. First off, you'll need to jump to three different pirate systems. On the third jump, you'll encounter a pirate freighter rescue encounter. Take out the warp engines first and fly to the left of the ship away from the cannons. Shoot down the cannons one by one and when you destroy the last one, the pirate freighter will surrender immediately. This part not only cuts down on your time to get the pirate dreadnought to surrender, but you get paid units and about 425 to 470 units for the rescue. Land in the freighter and check the class using your visor. If it is S-Class, congrats, but your mission is not done yet, rebel scum. For you and the others who are finding C-Class vessels, you are going to demand tribute when confronting the captain of the pirate freighter. This awards you 6,767,000 units, combined with the units from rescuing the other freighter earlier puts you at an estimated 7 million units. Instead of ending it here, you have a 50-50 chance of spotting a second encounter. This increases your amount to 14 million units and an estimated 850 nanites per run. After the encounters are done, there is a 10 to 20 minute wait before you can start the process all over again. After that, you can start jumping through pirate systems again. You cannot use the same two systems as a loop since this will not get the pirate freighter to spawn. Believe me, I tried. Repeat the process until you have a substantial amount of nanites, units, and an S-Class pirate freighter. No save point, no 3 hours of gameplay, and only 3 warp jumps. Shout out to Introspective Samurai on Twitch for the times posted during the livestream test that will be posted in the comments of this video here. Go beyond. Traveling.